Darrell Fisher making his first grade debut today. Fisher coming in to replace Brett Hodgson. And of course, Paul Langmack wearing 18 at lock forward and captain. For a dummy half, away to Ferris. Then it goes wide to Duneman. Duneman using the little kick, putting it back into the corner, taken by Western Suburbs and pushed into touch in goal. Player getting back for it was Darrell Fisher making his first grade debut this afternoon. But a good start as far as North Queen. Now given wide to McGuinness and he's able quickly to get his pass on the outside to Fisher who turns it back inside to Leo Dinova. Elects to go back to the short side and kicks for Fisher. Going down into the corner, it'll go touch in goal. To Mesher, then open up wide. It goes out to uh, McGuinness and then away to Fisher. Making his first grade debut today. Made a pretty good fist of it too. 17 minutes of this game. In behind Darrell Fisher. Fisher goes back. He's played just the one game of first grade footy as Fisher. A former Kiwi. This will help. It helps all right. Hodgson keeps it on the toe. McGuinness chasing through the World Cup in France. It's here in Campbelltown. The Magpies. They pick up the try. Fisher was onside from the last kick. There's the bad pass. Hodgson. Now everyone's onside there. McGuinness and Hodgson chase. Everyone's onside there. Well, there's no problem with that. Back for Pongy and now the skipper. Great offload. Into space. Tira Party just short. Five metres out. Try save and tackle. They go from dummy half and held up. Forced back again by Daryl Fisher. And McGuinness. Now Namu. He goes to the line, puts the little kick in. Well taken on the far side by Fisher. Straight through. Fisher did well. Wasn't that a classy bit of play? Nice pick up running backwards on a rolling ball. They come up with a beautiful little left foot step and found some inroads into the Warriors kick chase. Only a teenager is Fisher as McGuinness. Away from the side of Jones. Fisher. He's done a pretty good job on the right wing. Darrell Fisher. Now the goal pad. He's kept it on the toe here. And it's been grounded. Now, well, sure Fisher was well. playing at the ball. So close. No try. No try. No penalty try. So maybe Manly will feel cheated here. But I think Darrell Fisher could make a pretty good case for playing at the ball. Field. Long ball. They're confident. Phillips high ball. This one. Plenty of pressure for Mills. We'll come back to the 20. But pulled out. Fisher. He's around from one. Ken McGuinness is back on for the tackle. They've stacked the right hand side. High ball. George Arles. Down it comes. Fisher. Can't get rid of it. Yes, he does. They have scored another one. Over they go. 38 points to 16. Jeff Turvey's wanting to have a word with the referee over this. Ball put in the air. Manly appear to have as many players there as West. There's the offload. It went backwards, Jeff. What was that? Again. Hits past to Wharton. Then it goes wide. Out to McGinnis. McGinnis looking for his winger on the outside and finds oh, down Fisher. Fisher got it back to McGinnis once again. West has spent yeah, almost 12 and a half minutes in their own half. The first time they get down there, they can do things. But look at the ball play. That's sensational stuff there. Just Hodgson goes a few metres and runs it on the last and then is able to switch it back to Ken McGinnis. McGinnis kick. Oh, coming through with Darrell Fisher after it. Fisher dies on the ball. Referee shorthand said Wilson stop with the touch judge and rule the try. The little Darrell Fisher out on the wing all by himself. Gets the ball, plants it down. They're trying to win this summer. They are back in this game at 28 to 14. Black in in some doubt, but he got that ball down cleanly. But the uh, the replay showing there was no doubt at all about the try. And Darrell Fisher, the young Kiwi, born in New Zealand. Nothing against Kiwi. Kiwi no, he was probably next door to me, but I just can't remember. <laughs> He's just a bit younger than me. <laughs> but I tell you what, in a side that's been struggling this year, this young kid has played very well. He's a good finisher, Darrell Fisher. To Taylor. Taylor uses the high kick. And again, the player who went up and got it was Darrell Fisher. That was great work there by Fisher. The ball was really swirling around and didn't get a lot of protection. Took the ball well. Oh, that's surely 
it's taken in the end goal on the full, isn't it? But surely it's where the player is. I think where he started from, isn't it? I think he might have started his leap outside of it and landed back in that end goal. But anyway. Charles goes to the line, looks for support on the inside and finds Travis Baker. He's pushed away from the first tackle of Larson. Inside it goes to Donovan. He'll score. Daryl Fisher will get the ball down. That's a try. Daryl Fisher scores the try. And again, it was Travis Baker who Dean George Dallas running across the field. Look at he pulls out Jason Taylor, and Dayton comes back inside there. Baker, I should say. But what about the strength of the man to get the ball away? Ike really did it, could go for the tackle and get the... He's got to put it down to... Baker. ...pass to Travis Baker. Baker trying to get through a gap. Pepperbridge got him. He still pushed the pass away, though, to Fisher. Fisher gets to 30 metres up from the... Gathers it in. Rogan put a good chase on that one, along with Owen Craigie. It'll be interesting to see which side takes the initiative, then. Back for Fisher. Fisher stays alive. Most the advantage played here. Back to the left hand side, taken. He's in the end goals, a 20 metre tap to the western suburb side. Good kick there from Andrew Johns. Downfield, pulls up inches inside. Nalas again. And the offload was a beauty as well. And six again to the Magpies. Well, the Peter Shields. Big kick, in fact, maybe too big. Ah, oh, stands up beautifully. And John puts the chase on and did a great job Hands to off. get out of his own end goal. Brogan came well, a touch too late. Yeah, and he was dirty on his support players there, Andrew Johns. He got him to step in goal, which is all you want them to do. And he wasn't backed up by Brogan. You see Andrew Johns races down, gets him to step away, and that's where the tackle should have been made. In goal, should have been another question. So there's a lot of the fantastic in this game they have been he goes Craigie away from one Macquarie, the Warhead Blues on the attack now. 16 for the score in the Warhead Borough Cell Group 2 game up over halfway now. Fisher, Darrell Fisher's broken through, going downfield. Fisher looking for support. It's there. Yes, now it's the fullback has the throw line wide open, and Andy Charette will run it. The 1998 season, the broadcast commences at 2 pm each Sunday. The game will be brought to you from Warhead next Sunday. And we'll have further details on that uh, later. It's a Blues uh, scrum win. And going through there is Daryl Fisher once again over the halfway line, the 40, the 30 metre line. Oh, Side step round the defence, and he's going to score himself. Daryl! Great work again by the Blues. He was the first try scorer, finishing off a move that almost broke down thanks to some sloppy passing. Lock for Dean Homopo cleaned up, and then passed to Fisher. And the fullback was in after some good evasive work. It was converted by Tama Hohaya, and Waikato had the early lead, six points to nil. Max working a move from the scrum, but Paul Henter couldn't move, paid off. Captain Bukati Balo skirted out a dummy half, and found fullback Daryl Fisher storming onto the pass. 
the youngster had too much speed for the Mustangs defence. He raced away to score his second try. It was up and out wide. Beasley on to Shelford. And then fullback Darrell Fisher got away from some ordinary defence by the Mustangs. And he was in for a hat trick. It was converted. Waikato beat Manawatu 26 points to 10. Over to Kerry Barlow quickly onto it. Moved it wide. Paul Hetter. Lots of space out there for the centre. And on the wing, plenty of pace, chip, chase, everything from Darrell Fisher. Try time. Just. So the home side on the board. Some of the former Kiwi looking very good out wide. 